Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a gentle cleanse oil-free shampoo. We're using naturally derived mild cleansing agents that will gently cleanse, remove buildup without drying out your hair or over clarifying, okay? So go ahead and take a screenshot of the formula so you can follow along or refer back to it later. My goal for this shampoo was to have mild cleansers without sacrificing that rich foamy lather that we love when washing our hair. As we know, oils can reduce the foam of your shampoo, so I wanted to add ingredients that would still hydrate, moisturize, and soften, and give that emollient feeling just like oils. Starting off with the prep phase, I'm using Surf Pro C66, which is a water-soluble emollient. Most emollients are oils, but this one is oil-free. It's moisturizing, it's softening for the hair, and it also acts as a solubilizer for your fragrances. I'm actually testing out fragrances now, so you can skip this part if you like, but I definitely recommend this ingredient in order to get the benefits of an oil without actually putting an oil into your shampoo. So now we can get into the actual making of our oil-free shampoo. It will consist of a water phase, surfactant phase, and we're gonna adjust our pH in order to add our thickener at the end. So let's go ahead and jump right into the water phase. This shampoo is an aqueous system, which means it's majority water and water is our solvent. So we need to be able to have all water soluble ingredients in this phase. So rose water is our first water soluble ingredient. It's gonna give a light, beautiful fragrance and it's also gonna hydrate your hair. It's a great substitute if you don't want to use just distilled water, okay? There are other floral waters that you can use as well. Next, I'm going to be adding vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is a humectant. It works to draw in moisture to our hair. It is also a water-soluble emollient, so it's going to add smoothness to the hair. It will also protect your hair and prevent water loss. Another great way to add moisture to your shampoo is with panthenol. Panthenol is basically vitamin B5. It's gonna improve the elasticity of your hair and it will also soften your hair and make it easier to detangle. Next up, we're adding our prep phase solution. This is our fragrance and also our water soluble emollient. This will temporarily make your shampoo cloudy, but no worries, the final product will be clear. You can skip this step if you do not wish to add a fragrance. You can also use your rose water or other hydrosols to get a light, beautiful scent to your shampoo. If you wish to add in essential oils, you need a solubilizer. However, this could affect the final appearance of your shampoo and it also will not be oil free. Since our shampoo is oil free, a great way to bring in more nourishment and strengthening properties is to add extracts. I'm using amber extract because it conditions the hair. It will also soothe scalp irritation. It also adds some antimicrobial properties, which is really great to work along with our preservative. Since this is an aqueous solution, it is mostly water. You need a preservative, it's non-negotiable. You have to have it. I'm using a preservative that's paraben free and formaldehyde free this preservative is effective in a wide ph range which is very important for the shampoo which i'll explain why later we're done with the water phase let's jump into the surfactant phase this is the phase that will give us our cleansing agents in our foam our first cleansing agent is Capriolil Capriol glucoside it is a natural mild cleansing agent it also acts as a solubilizer it's going to give us some great beautiful foam and gentle cleansing Next, I'm using Coco Baiting, also a naturally derived mild gentle cleansing agent. It's going to give you instant foam and soften the hair. Coco Glucoside works well with other surfactants to make them milder, especially anionic surfactants, which tend to be harsher, but we still love them because they give us the most foam. So it'll work to make those a little bit milder. I am using an anionic surfactant in the shampoo, I'm using foamy oat, which is a naturally derived anionic surfactant 
It is a mild cleanser. It gives a creamy, non-drying lather, so you're gonna get some really great, beautiful foam that you wouldn't get from just a non-ionic surfactant, okay? So this really is gonna help boost that foam in your shampoo without the use of harsher cleansing agents. Using these naturally derived gentle cleansers will give your hair a beautiful cleanse without stripping your hair. Now that we have our water phase and our surfactant phase, all that is left to do is combine them. Once you add them together and mix it well, you're going to see that the system will become clear. Now, if you do not wish to have a clear system, you'll have to add other pearlizing or, or a pacifying uh, agents in order to get it white or more of that pearl-like color which will take a completely different formula. I specifically formulated this shampoo to be clear. So I was very careful with the cleansers I chose. I wanted to make sure they were clear, not hazy or cloudy. So be careful with the ingredients you're choosing depending on what you wish your shampoo to look like. If you want it to be clear, make sure you're choosing ingredients that are clear. If you add oils, emollients, or even the cleansing agents that are darker in color, your shampoo will be darker or even cloudy. That's it for our oil-free shampoo. You are done. The only thing is, hey, this doesn't really look like a shampoo. It's super watery right well we're gonna fix that it's time to add our thickener i'm using surf thick dough surf thicks is a liquid thickener that is used to thicken non-ionic or difficult to thicken systems okay it works really well and is very similar to me to core thicks but i prefer core thicks honestly <laughs> The supplier recommends that you warm this up a little bit before adding it to the shampoo. So while that's warming on the stove, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the pH. The pH is very important for the shampoo because the thickener that I'm using has to be within the pH levels of six and 6.8. This shampoo falls a little bit over 8.9, so I'm using a 50% citric acid solution to bring down the pH. In order to test your pH, you want to create a 10% dilution of your shampoo. So I'm taking two grams of my shampoo and I'm going to add 20 grams of distilled water and I'm gonna repeat this process until I get the desired pH level. Going back to earlier, this is why I said I had to choose a preservative with a wide pH range because this system needs to be between six and six eight. My preservative will allow that. Depending on your formula, you may need a preservative with a lower pH range. So make sure you are checking your formula and checking the preservative you're using. Once my final pH is a little over 6, I can add my thickener safely. This will allow it to thicken efficiently. Now that my thickener has heated up a little bit, it's a little bit more free flowing so we can add it to our shampoo, which is very, very watery right now. Add your thickener in small amounts. It is recommended that you add 0.5% increments at a time this way you will not over thicken your shampoo. It's very easy to add, but really hard to take away. So be very careful. So what I did is I just added a little, I mixed it well, let it sit, and then I would test the consistency. If I wasn't happy with it, I would add a little bit more. I did this until I was happy with the viscosity, which can vary depending on preference. I was really happy because this is a gentle shampoo. I didn't want it to be super thick. I want it to be very lightweight and beautiful, but still have that beautiful shampoo feel to it. After vigorously mixing your shampoo, it will have a lot of bubbles and be a little cloudy, but just let it sit and it will clear up. This is a clear system and it's absolutely beautiful. Look how well it has thickened up. The viscosity is absolutely beautiful is perfect for this gentle shampoo. And that's it, you just made a gentle cleanse, all free shampoo. Now you can package your shampoo. I'm using a clear squeeze bottle. I thought it would be the perfect container to showcase this clear system shampoo. The shampoo is absolutely beautiful and I wanted it to be shown in all this glory. So I used a clear squeeze bottle. And yeah, I think it came out great. I really love it. And there's not much I would want to change or tweak about this formula, especially being that it's oil free. Later on, I definitely will try to work with a shampoo with more oils and more extracts, but I I feel like it will definitely not be this color. Lastly, I just wanted to give a quick demonstration of how beautiful this 
foam is. It's thick, it's beautiful, it's rich, and there are no oils or any other ingredients that are gonna minimize this in your shampoo. If you're looking for that rich, creamy lather that does not dry out your hair, then this is definitely the formula for you. So I'm just gonna rub it in my hands a little bit with some water and instantly it's like foam, creamy, beautiful, Thick, dense lather, just amazing. There is no shortage of foam and cleansing power in this shampoo, even though it's gentle, even though it's jam packed with mostly naturally derived non ionic surfactants, it is filled with beautiful foam and I just, I'm loving it, I'm happy with it. There are no oils, but it's still moisturizing. It's still giving me that beautiful, silky, smooth feeling like oils would give in a moisturizing shampoo. So you're gonna get a really beautiful, gentle cleanse that's still gonna leave your hair hydrated, moisturized, healthy, shiny, and clean. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope this formula in this shampoo was helpful for you. If you have any questions or requests or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. You guys know I love hearing from you and I will do my best to answer Next up, I'm going to be focusing on more variations of shampoos. I'm going to do a pearlizing shampoo, a conditioning shampoo, and overall shampoos that focus more on drier textures like curly, kinky, coily hair. Um, I want to do more shampoos that cater to that specifically that will have more oils, more conditioning properties, more moisturizing properties, things of that nature. So definitely leave a request down below if you have an idea for a shampoo. And also uh, make sure you hit that notification bell because it's the only, only, only way you can keep up with the videos I'm coming out with and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!